Hey guys, I'm just on my way out for a walk and I'm going to post a video today showing you just how to do a simple drawing of a buttercup, which is a common wildflower here where I live. And I just kind of show you how I have a rough sketch laid out and then go over it with ink um, and kind of keep the botanical details in mind while still um, being relaxed about it and not having it to be exact. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, then keep on watching. I've started a rough drawing here and um, I actually traced these buttercup leaves onto tracing paper just because I was having a difficult time with them and I am drawing right onto the watercolor paper and then I ended up erasing a lot and so sometimes that can kind of damage the paper. So I sketched this buttercup um, drawing lightly from a few different pictures I was looking at and then I found a leaf I thought from some different buttercup images that would work and I kind of traced it in with my transfer paper here. And now I have my light pencil sketch. I'm going to go over it in my waterproof pen before I start painting. So I'm going to start at the top and it's a good idea to have your reference pictures open um, to look at too while you're doing this if you don't feel completely confident about the sketch or the way the plant grows. And this is actually a dark brown um, waterproof ink pen. I like using something just a bit different than black. Um, I love these micron pens. I really wish they were available in gray. I haven't found any gray waterproof pens yet. There is one in the Stadler brand, but it's not waterproof and I like to ink my um, drawings before I paint them. And then there's these little single leaf bits that usually come out of the buttercups everywhere. And so I've just looked at pictures and then made up the drawing as I wanted to represent it using my artist's license. And even when I sketch something out, sometimes when I'm doing the final inking, I just make a few changes. Um, originally I had the stem running over the leaf. I'm actually going to do the leaf um, over the stem. Now I'm working on the flowers and I like to make sure I don't make the edges too perfect because there's usually little undulations and imperfections in the edges of flower petals. Even if they do look from um, farther away, they look perfectly round. There's usually little notches. I'm just lightly indicating the center there. And then to get a nice straight line, I start at the center of the flower and then I just lightly drag my entire arm down and keeping my wrist steady to get that nice line. And just adding in an extra leaf. And I'll do the same for this one. And this flower is kind of at a side view.
So you can see the drawings coming together now and inking things makes it a lot easier for me to see what I'm painting because um, my drawings are often sort of small and delicate and so you can see the rose campion I painted earlier next to here and this was inked in just the same way with the same pen and it doesn't necessarily stand out a great deal once I've done all my layers of paint uh, so it's just sort of a mix of the ink and watercolor um, that gives me the amount of contrast and detail that I like to achieve. Now there's one more flower here. It's actually looking a little bit faint. So I'm actually going to just take my pencil and go into that a bit more before I ink it. Just to make sure I have it the way I would like it before I commit to the permanent ink. That will do. Now I'm going to work on these leaves and I will finish joining the stem up once I have my leaves mapped in. Once again, I'm making some little notches and details in these leaves so they don't look too perfect. Especially with wild plants and flowers, there's usually little nibbles out of the leaves or irregularities. Now I'm just adding in the veins, just very simple little lines that'll blend in a lot to my painting, but kind of help add some structure to it. Now I can connect up the rest of the stem. Just making sure I show it there where it would be seen overlapping. And then I'll add in the rest of the veins.
So now I have my inked in drawing and I will just let it set for a moment and then go over it with my kneaded eraser to remove any excess pencil before I start painting. Thanks so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you with a new video next weekend.